some of you may recall, I did a video back in 2010, which was titled Armageddon Bunkers. In this video, I go into a little bit of detail in regards to some of the super rich around the world that are building bunkers under their homes in the side of mountains or wherever. Uh, of course, I did touch on how Christian prophecy predicted all this, uh, but the super rich, as confused as they are because uh, disobedience breeds confusion and they have no clue as to what they're actually doing, they don't know they're fulfilling prophecy. But that was six years ago, and it was pretty bad then. Check this out. If you're wondering how our politicians and other super rich people really feel about how things are going in our country right now, then listen to this. Upscale sales at Rising S Bunkers, a company that specializes in fancy underground bunkers, have increased a whopping 700% this year. That's according to Gary Lynch, the company's owner. He told The Hollywood Reporter that actors, pro athletes, and politicians are all investing in high-end bunkers like there's no tomorrow. Literally. For an unnamed Oscar winner, he just installed a 37-room, 9,000-square-foot underground complex in Napa Valley. The bunker includes a bowling alley, sauna, jacuzzi, shooting range, and massive home theater. It cost more than $10 million. Another customer with their own television show just built a $10 million complex of underground mansions in Minneapolis. Lynch has installed all sorts of underground things for rich and famous customers. Swimming pools, game rooms, gyms, greenhouses, you name it. And if you're wondering how all that will continue to work after the apocalypse, the bunkers come with their own power sources, which run air and water filtration systems. But it's not just eccentric actors building luxury bunkers. Bill Gates, the guy who's supposed to be saving the world, is also preparing for its demise. He reportedly has huge bunkers under every one of his homes now. Pro athletes are also big customers, but maybe the most interesting customers on the list are the politicians. Not only are they making enough money in the field of public service to buy luxury bunkers, but they are making the bunker makers actually sign non-disclosure agreements. The politicians don't want anyone to know they're preparing for the end of the world. The bunker makers say all their clients think we're doomed, no matter who's elected. Maybe they know something we don't, which is why they're keeping their bunkers a secret. All I know is, if the politicians are preparing for the end of the world, it means they've officially stopped doing the job we're still paying them to do. Tonight, let's talk about that. Okay. Now, as we know, being students of prophecy, Christian prophecy is going to be fulfilled. So it doesn't matter why these men and women that are super rich are building these bunkers. Satan knows his time is short, and he knows Jesus is coming back. These super rich, not so much. They don't even read Bibles, and so they have no clue. And so I would assume the main reason that they're building the bunkers is because they're fearful of just about everything, you know, everything from social unrest to nuclear war. Uh, but the fact remains, Christian prophecy is going to be fulfilled. They are building those bunkers under their homes and in the side of mountains, because it was prophesied they would. Thank you for watching. God bless.